the national polls don't matter. They only matter maybe a little itty bitty bit, but really they don't matter. What matters is the polling in the swing states. Remember that, say it, talk about it with your friends. That's why the national press is focusing on the national polls. They want Hillary to win. They're hiding the fact that Ohio, Trump is winning. Okay, he has to win Ohio to win the presidency. We all know that, but he is winning Ohio. And in Florida, they're neck and neck. And in North Carolina, they're neck and neck. This is an easy victory for Trump. Uh, maybe hard fought, I should better say. All right, put the, two, put the two up side by side. All right, on the left, we see USA's starting point today. On the right, you see Randall Terry's predictions. I have Trump winning at 281 and Hillary at 257. You have to have 270 electoral votes to win. So let's look at this. I threw Alaska to Hillary just for kicks and giggles. Alaska's gonna go to Trump. Now let's look at the swing states. New Hampshire, we'll give it to Hillary. They're crazy up there in the Northeast. Could go to Trump, but let's give it to Hillary. Wisconsin and Maine. Wisconsin, we're gonna give to Trump. Maine, we're gonna give to Hillary. Ohio, we're gonna give that to Trump. Pennsylvania, we're gonna give that to Hillary, okay? Iowa, we're gonna give that to Trump. Colorado and Nevada, we'll give those to Trump. North Carolina, giving that to Trump. Florida, giving that to Trump. Virginia, we'll give that to Hillary, all right? So there you have it. Look at the, look at the map. Now, Hill, Trump could lose Colorado. He's still gonna be the president. Trump could lose Colorado and lose New Mexico. Okay, well, I've actually, I've already got him losing New Mexico. He's gonna win Alaska. I thought I'd throw that over there just for kicks and giggles. If you look at this map, study it, look at it. Just go back and forth, back and forth, okay? Trump only has to worry about the swing states. Trump has to spend time in Iowa, in Ohio, in North Carolina, in Florida, and he has to force Hillary to spend money in some of the other swing states. New Hampshire is a very expensive media market because the major part of the TV from New Hampshire comes from Boston. So if you're gonna buy TV ads to win New Hampshire, you're not paying for it in Nashua County, you're paying for it in Boston, it's pricey. So these swing states, the ones that you see that are in gray, they're the ones that matter. So if you wanna be a political expert, then just follow Florida, Ohio, North Carolina, Wisconsin. There's people who say that Michigan is in play. There's people who say that New York is in play. They're astounded, but Pennsylvania is in play. Every once in a while, a story will come out about Pennsylvania being in play. I'm giving it to Hillary. But even with Hillary winning Pennsylvania, Trump has a path to the presidency. That's what you need to see, friend. And by the way, I love the Lord. I fear the Lord. I believe that America and all nations on the world should be built upon Judeo-Christian laws and principles, okay? We are in 2016, the year of our Lord, okay? Christ is king of the world. He demands obedience. So I am trying to look at this election, not through a partisan grid of Republican versus Democrat, I don't, I don't care about that, but through an ethical grid. The most important issue on the planet is whether or not someone is murdered. That's the biggest sin, okay? Hillary supports murdering babies, Trump says no. Hillary has committed to a Supreme Court filled with baby killers. Trump says, I'll put up Supreme Court judges like Anton Scalia. Another issue that is central to Christianity is our right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, which means the right of self-defense as well. Hillary wants to take away our guns. Trump wants to defend them. ISIS, Islam is a threat. Hillary pretends it's not. Trump knows it is. So I'm trying to look at this election through that grid. Go use this tool and see for yourself that Trump has a path to the presidency and we have a duty to tell people, this is far from over. If Trump wins the swing states, he's the next president. 